there are tens of thousands of women that we don't hear about. We hear about Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Alice Paul, but we don't hear about the Black, Brown, Indigenous women, the Chinese women, the other Asian American women that also join the struggle for the vote. And so many of those women did not actually get the right to vote in 1920. So what I think people don't understand is that by 1920, women in 27 of the US states had actually had already had the right to vote at least in presidential elections, including uh, my now home state of California, which in which women got the right to vote in 1911. Uh, but uh, after 1920, there were a number of women that could, still couldn't vote. Black women found themselves able to register and then being taken up, uh, literally forced out of the polls and uh, not being able to vote because of their race. And the suffrage movement refused to take up their cause. Puerto Rican women were unable to vote because they were from a territory. And when they got the right to vote in the 1930s, they were uh, only literate women could vote at first. Asian women who were immigrants could not vote because they were ineligible to be citizens until uh, some groups in the 1940s, but most until actually 1965 with the Voter Rights, Voting Rights Act. Indigenous women couldn't vote, the majority of them. Uh, although we have some pictures in the National History Museum of women, uh, Paiute women uh, voting in 1913, most Native American women couldn't vote in 1920 because Native peoples did not become American citizens as a whole until 1924. So this is a time for us to, for me to, us to think about who got the right to vote in 1920 and who was excluded and had to continue a fight for the right to vote. 